name is not Tara. <laughs> Let's try again. Hi, my name is Tara. And I am Rips. And that's Rips. And today we're going to check out the KitHub Take Apart Electronics Kit. What are we going to take apart? The solar panel flower. Cool. That's going to be awesome. So we're going to look inside, see what's in there, and then think about how we can reuse the parts after we've taken them out. Cool. Want to try? Sure. <laughs> All right, so okay. here's the KitHub Take Apart Electronics okay. Kit. Let's open it up, Rips. What's inside? What do you see? Some instructions and a flower. Some screwdrivers and glass. Safety glass. Cool, that looks pretty good. All right, so we have the flowers. The solar powered flower, mm -hmm. some uh, six piece precision screwdriver set. And this is really important because a lot of times with electronics, the screws are really tiny. Um, so you need to make sure that you have um, small screwdrivers to go along with that. And what's one of the most important things when you are going to work with electronics is to wear your safety glasses. Okay, Rip, so put those on. There you go. All right, you ready? Good. It says, one of our favorite ways to learn about how electronic appliances work is to take them apart. It's a great way for kids to understand how things are designed. By disassembling a small toy and other appliances, kids also learn and practice using different tools. So let's open this up. It's nice and easy to open. I didn't have to use any scissors, which is always great. Some of these plastic packages. Okay, so there you go. So take a look at your solar powered daisy. And then I'm going to open up the screwdriver set. Let's see what we have here. All right, so let's see. We have six precision screwdrivers, and then there's some uh, instruction Mom. list here with the contents. Mom? Mm -hmm. Well, you're already taking it apart. Okay. Is to take apart the solar powered flower included in the kit, use the three millimeter screwdriver. So okay, let's see if we can identify the three millimeter screwdriver in this. Okay? So can you can you figure out which one that is? Hmm. No. Hmm. Look for three, the number three. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so grab that. Okay, so we're gonna use this to pry this black piece out. So I know you only have one hand here because of your cast, so let me try and help you. I'll hold it and you use this screwdriver. If you can pry that out. See how it's coming out pretty easily? So we're prying out this black top and we don't want to scratch that solar panel. Let's try and keep everything together nicely and not break anything. So this is why safety glasses are good. Sometimes things pop out, right? So can it hit you in the eye? Okay. There we go. Okay, so it looks like it can be a little tricky to take apart the uh, sides of the flower. It's, they're just uh, round inserts. So just gonna have to just work it a little bit, but it will come apart. Younger kids are probably gonna need a little more help um, taking this apart. Okay. So let's check this out. That looks like a magnet. Okay, so let's see. Now we're going to identify the parts, and in order for us to identify the parts, we're going to go to uh, the MIT website where they actually have all the parts identified, which is really helpful. So we have this wound copper wire voice coil. Okay, where's the solar panel? Can you see the solar panel? Okay. And then there's an electronics board on here. Can you identify where the electronics board is? How do you know that's an electronics board? Because it's green and it has electronics. 
Oh, okay. So you've seen those before? And mom, look, it actually has tape. Oh, so it's taped on there. And I see a capacitor on there too. Do you see the capacitor? Yeah. Where do you see that? Yeah, the little black right there. That's great. This is how this toy works. Uh, the two pedals are coupled mechanically such as that when one moves, the other one also moves. So these are the pedals, right? And there's the magnet on there. One of the pedals acts as a pendulum with a magnet at the base of it. So remember when the magnet was in there? So that's what helps move it back and forth in a continuous motion. When the toy is powered, now how is the toy powered? What powers that toy? Um, the solar panel sun. Okay. Okay, when the toy is powered, pulses of electrical current are sent through a voice coil. Do you remember where the voice coil is? Yes. Where's that? Where's the voice coil? What's a, what's a, where's the copper coil? Mm. That's right, that's the voice coil, which is placed at the base of the toy. This creates a magnetic fluid running along the axis of the voice coil. Okay. These pulses of magnetic field from the voice coil pull the magnet towards the voice coil to cause the pedal's pendulum to swing back and forth. So when this is together, it causes it to want to move towards the coil. And then, do you, can you think of how we might be able to reuse any of this stuff? Like the solar panel is really interesting, don't well, you think? Well, we could use it for using solar power for our um for um for our our electricity oh so you're thinking that we could power what what would like lights and stuff yeah solar panels and switches and stuff so do you know that there's people who put these solar panels on their roofs of their house mm -hmm. so they can collect energy from the sun and then power things in their houses what do you think of that? Mm -hmm. I do. It connects to lots of wires. Yeah, there are a lot of wires. Probably more than these two here, huh? Well, that's cool. Well, thanks, Rips. Did you have fun taking that solar power toy apart? Yep. But super hard. What do you think was the most interesting thing? I'm uh, taking a solar I apart. I need this. Yeah? Why is that most interesting? Because, um... It's like interesting because this and this, I never know that it was in there or tape because it could still work with tape inside it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that something as simple as tape is used in a toy like this, isn't it? It's just to keep that electronic component in place so it doesn't shift all around. But that's all I needed was just a piece of tape to do it. Okay, we're going to put all our parts back into the Kit Hub kit. And why then. Did, and why did we ever use this? Oh, we didn't use the needle nose pliers. But that might have helped us take apart the flower pot piece. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us in taking apart the solar powered toy using the Kit Hub Take Apart Electronics Kit. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, please go to kithub.cc where you can see. Uh, information on how to make things with electronics in a super fun and creative way and follow us on Twitter at KitHubCC. Um, we're also on Facebook KitHubCC and we'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>